Something that many people find challenging is finding a comfortable sitting position for their yoga practice. My name is Zalinda and I'm the owner of The Yoga Room in Round Rock, Texas. And today I'd like to show you lots of options about how to sit so that you can find the one that works best for you. First, let's look at an option that works for almost everybody, sitting on a chair. When we're sitting, the objective is that we want to be able to lengthen the spine. And when most people sit on a chair, they don't have any trouble lengthening their spine. You can relax your shoulders down. If you do choose to use a chair for your yoga practice, you want to set your heels up under your knees for a good solid foundation. Another option that works well for many people is to sit up on a prop of some height. So let's start with the tallest one first. Um, here at the yoga room, we call this a big bolster. This is the biggest size that we have. And you can use this to sit on top of. So you'll sit up toward the front edge of it. And when you sit, again, notice if it's comfortable for you to lengthen your spine. You can see that for me, it's comfortable and easy for my knees to release down lower than my hips. But this is not the case for everybody. So if you notice that when you sit this way, your knees are up here, that's perfectly okay. Just take another prop, like maybe um, some blocks, and use them to support your knees so that you're not straining, so that your hips are relaxed and so that you can easily lengthen your spine. This can be your comfortable sitting position. If the big bolster feels like it's a little bit too tall for you, you can use a smaller size bolster. We call this our medium bolster. And same thing, you know, just set it on your mat, have a seat, see if it feels comfortable for you, see if it lets you lengthen your spine. If your knees can comfortably relax down, that's great. And if they can't, don't worry about it. You can just, again, tuck um, some blocks under your knees, or if you don't happen to have blocks, you can use, you know, something else, maybe a folded blanket or anything that you have on hand. If you are someone who is quite flexible, you might feel comfortable sitting on a folded blanket. And you can do this different ways. So you can fold your blanket, um, you know, like a little bit thicker like this so that it's a taller support. For me, my most comfortable way to sit is on a blanket that's just folded like this. So it's kind of a small height. And so you can notice that for my body, this small um, height of folded blanket works well. I'm able to keep my hips relaxed and lengthen my spine and relax my shoulders. And this is what we want to be able to do. You know, I keep talking about lengthening your spine. Well, why do we want to do that? Uh, we want to do that because it's the kind of the foundation of the posture. So from here, we can start to do some work like inhaling the arms up and down. We can do some side bending. We can work on twists. But if we're sitting in a position that is not appropriate and not comfortable for us and say, you know, it's challenging to sit like this, so you end up rounding your spine. It's hard to do these kind of movements. It's not as effective. So that's why it's important um, for every person to write, find the right kind of sitting posture that's most comfortable for their own body. I often see people um, sitting with no support at all, and that does work for a small percentage of people, but it really does require a high degree of flexibility in the legs and in the hips. So I encourage you to try out all of these different options and find the one that works best for you. If you have any questions, I would love to hear from you and help you find a solution. Please leave a comment in the section below.